Hi guys, Tom over here for Rigwazio by McKinsey. Today I'm going to show you Nucleo, our serverless framework for real-time events and data processing. Nucleo is a serverless framework focused on high-performance data, I.O., and computing-intensive workloads. The Nucleo platform is not dependent on any infrastructure. It can run on any cloud provider and even locally using Docker containers. It supports a variety of programming languages and can be triggered by multiple event sources, such as streams, queues, and HTTP requests. Nucleo was designed as an extendable open source framework and has a community of contributors and users that range from startups to large enterprises. Let's not waste any time and jump right into a quick demo. All right, so I already installed Nucleo on a local Kubernetes cluster using our quick start guide on our documentation on Nucleo.io. You can follow it pretty easily. When I go to localhost 8070, I can see the Nucleo UI. First, we can see we have the project screen. Serverless functions in Nucleo are a part of projects. I can go into the default project and create a new function. In the new function screen, I can create a new function from one of our templates, which are already here, start a new function from scratch, or import an existing configuration. Just to get acquainted, let's start from a simple Python hello world function. I'll click here on name the function and create it. Now we reach the function screen. In the code tab, we have the function source code. The handler is the function that will be called when we invoke our serverless function. We can write our own code here. You can see that it's already populated with the templated function. In the configuration tab, we can configure settings that are specific to this function. We can change the resources, requests, and limits, set up environment variables, labels, volumes, etc. In the triggers tab, we can configure how the function will be triggered. We can select from one of the options of the trigger classes, Kafka streaming, cron jobs, or HTTP requests. For example, let's set up a, an HTTP trigger. And that's it. Let's deploy the function and see how it works. Once it's deployed, we can see the, the invocation variables to invoke the functions. Back in the code tab, we can test how our function behaves by invoking it with, with whatever body we want and clicking on the test. For example, testing the invocation, we can see that we got the, re the response, hello from Nucleo. Well, the UI is nice, but I want to show you another way to deploy functions using the Nucleo CLI tool, Nucatl. You can download it from the Git Nucleo GitHub repository in the releases page, where it's available here as a binary. But this time, I won't only use Nucatl, I'll also deploy code that, that is available in a GitHub project. I have an example project here, the sentiment analyzer. Inside, I want to load a model, which analyzes the sentiment of a given text, and deploy it as a Nucleo function. The handler function will be uh, the Nucleo function handler, which gets a context and an event as an arguments. When this function gets an event, it takes its input text as a body and predicts the text sentiment and returns it as a JSON. Let's see how we can deploy this whole code using Nucatl. For this, I created a function YAML. This is essentially the function configuration, just like the UI is setting, but as a YAML file. As you can see, the function configuration consists of the metadata of the function name and uh, namespace, and the function spec, which tells Nucleo how to deploy the function. For example, in this case, I'm telling it that the handler will be in the sentiment analyzer module. Furthermore, I'm telling it to build from the GitHub repository. Let's see how I can deploy it using Nucatl. I already downloaded the Nucatl binary, so I'm calling it with the namespace Nucleo that I created, and I'm telling it to deploy on a Kubernetes platform from the function YAML that we just see. I run it, and the function will be built and deployed. When we go back to the UI, we can see that the function is created in the, in the default project, the sentiment analysis. Going inside, in the code tab, we can see that the code entry type is GitHub and not source code like we saw before. And all of the configuration that we set in the function YAML is already populated, like the GitHub repository URL. Let's invoke the function and see how it goes. I really love pizza. Now let's invoke the function with an input text. 
we can see that we got a response. I really love pizza and the predicted sentiment is very positive. To summarize, why use Nucleo over other serverless frameworks? Nucleo can work on any environment, different cloud providers, on-prem, VMs, or hybrid platforms. It provides a serverless experience without any additional cost. It supports real-time processing with high performance and can integrate easily with well-known data sources, triggers, and frameworks. Lastly, it is open source, which allows you to configure it according to your specific needs. If you want to know more, just head on to Nucleo.io and check out our documentation. We have everything there to help you get started. Thank you very much.